Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm back for part two of my Tuesday morning beach walk at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in beautiful North Naples, Florida. As you can see, nothing but crystal clear blue sky all around me. 65 degrees right now, a little bit of a breeze coming out of the east-northeast. Expecting today's high to get up oh, around 75, maybe. Upper, probably the upper 70s, maybe even 80. I'm at Wiggins Pass, up at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. One of my favorite places to hang out right here. I love it up here. It's so quiet and peaceful. I know you've seen this view many times now, and you're going to see it many more times many many more times it's just so tranquil here the trees hanging over the water there was a little nine arm sea star down here earlier just before i started my live feed and the little guy crawled away on me and the time it took me to get started. Oh, there he is. There he is. A nine-armed sea star, but he's missing a couple of his arms. <laughs> he's got some little stubs, I think. Let's take a look at him here. Be real gentle with him. Beautiful. It's beautiful seeing live sea creatures. Not dead ones washed up on the beach. This guy is alive and kicking. You can see his little stubs there. Starting to grow new appendages, new arms. The nine arm sea star. He's in full, full motion here. You can see his, eh, it's kind of hard to see. There's his little feet underneath wiggling around. The nine arm sea star. Fun seeing one of these. We used to see these all over the beach and then I don't know, several years ago we had a wicked red tide and it killed off a lot of our marine life and it's just starting to make a comeback. So I'm just going to put this guy gently back down on the bottom there. Let him just kind of float down there. Put him in the sunlight. You get a little sun, man. It's morning. <laughs> the nine-armed sea star. That's cool. You never know what you're gonna find when you're walking along if you keep your eyes open. You could find some little crabs crawling around here on the bottom, hermit crabs and fighting conks. This is kind of our signature view of Wiggins Pass right here. Just beautiful. I'd love it if there was a couple little white clouds up here, little puffy white clouds. Then it'd just make the image perfect. Absolutely perfect. Still beautiful though, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I'm just going to walk slowly to the west here, then up around the pass and down to the south, back down the beach. We started in Area 4 earlier this morning and walked up here. I haven't seen any dolphins yet. No dolphins. Picked up a couple shells. That was about it. I've got a little kitten paw in my pocket and also I have, uh, what did I pick up? An apple murex, a little apple murex. And that's about it. Show you those two shells. Oh, and I picked up a little fighting conch. Just because they're so colorful, the little fighting conchs. It was a nice size little kitten paw. The apple murex there. The apple murex on the left, trying to get some sun on them there. 
the Apple Murex on the left, the little baby fighting conch in the center, and the pretty big kitten paw on the right there. That's about it for this morning. One of these days we'll get down to those shell islands and do some serious shelling. It's been kind of quiet, a few boats in and out of the pass this morning, but not many. I hear one coming out behind me now. Somebody heading out. Oops, the parasail guy. One of the parasail operations. Oh, and a fisherman behind him. You hear that wind? Coming right out of the east there. do over and over, but it's fun to do once or twice. Great way to get a pelican's, pelican eye view of the beach. fishermen heading up heading out behind them here they should pop into frame here any second good morning good morning how are you good how are you sitting over on the shore at Barefoot Beach. Welcome to another glorious morning in North Naples. Hit that share button, invite your friends to tag along with us. There's Nana. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Awesome? It is awesome out here. It is. You're the one really soaking it up. <laughs> 
Amen to that. How's the trash business today? <laughs> I left a can on the beach for you. Did you find it? Uh-oh. It was sta I stood it up. It washed in. Oh, we got some toys down there. Oh, I, there's. The, I saw some down there. Right in the curb. Oh. Uh, Oh, it's on the beach? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. What a shame. I don't know what area it was, but it's it's out. It's right on like the sh oh, okay. the, sh the shell line up on the beach. It was it was right in the water. It was kind of crinkled up and had rough edges. Kentucky, University of Kentucky Wildcats hat. It had washed up. Oh, neat. So I took it over to the... Uh, Somebody liked that. I took it to the ranger. Yeah. To put that in your oh, Kentucky so Kim would have liked that. Way. Our friend Kim from Kentucky. She was here all day, all morning. Oh, I, actually, I saw her, and she had her Kentucky shirt on. Yeah. I told her there was a hat down there, and she She's, said, uh, uh, no, it wasn't mine. Oh, <laughs> maybe she doesn't like the Wildcats. <laughs> you guys have a, a great morning. And good morning, Devin, if you're watching. Good morning. Colors are just awesome out here. gradient here, how the colors graduate from the very, very light green on the left over to the darker green, darker and darker, and then blue. Absolutely gorgeous. started our journey, the second half of our beach walk down there.
pelicans. Fisherman's got something over here in the orange shirt and these pelicans don't see it. <laughs> Usually they're right on top of it. <laughs> Little late guys. calming down here hopefully the water will be clearing up as it calms down Other than that sad sight of that beached sailboat, very sad, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers easily. Fort Myers Beach, Cape Coral, you can look right up the coastline today. I think you can see all the way up to Oh, who knows where, way up the coast there, if you look really, really close. Wow. Comes a pontoon boat in. Somewhere. It is. How are you doing? Good morning. Beautiful out here. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Hey, if you haven't made that commitment yet to become a supporter of Southwest Florida Television, eh, the time is probably getting close to when you should make the move here, especially if you're living in the Naples area. We're planning on visiting the Naples area and southwest Florida. I'm working on putting together little discounts 
little discounts for Southwest Florida television supporters. You'll know if you're a supporter. If you see the word supporter above your comments, that means you're a supporter. Right now, we just have a 10% discount at the Naples House of Omelets. And I would be adding later today a 10% discount on your rides with Salt Life Transportation. Salt Life Transportation. Airport pickup service, airport pickup and delivery. And they also shuttle you around town if you want to go out to eat or maybe had a little too much to drink. Don, Donald Bishop and Salt Light Transportation. They got five really nice luxury vans. There he is. I am good, man. It's beautiful out here. I can't believe it. We'll take it. We'll take it as right. Take all, if they'd be like this every day, it'd be awesome. Today is just ideal. Ideal. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good. Not seeing any dolphins. Not seeing dolphins during our live feeds yet. That's kind of weird. They're out here. We just might be out. They're just not out when we're out. But people are seeing them throughout the day. Pelican just dove in the water behind me. I was going to follow him. There he goes. Off he goes for another attack. Boom. <laughs> Kamikaze is just making his way up the beach. as bright as it is, as sunny and warm as it is right now, there might be a chance that one of the little gopher tortoises is peeking its head out of its burrow up here. We'll go check in on that. Check in on it. There's not going to be a beach walk on Friday morning. I will not be doing a beach walk on Friday morning. I'm gonna do a live feed. I'll do, I'm hoping to do a live feed from somewhere. I just don't know where yet. But it'll probably be a little later in the day. I'll find something to do. But Friday morning, no beach walk. morning. I haven't seen Joe yet. Joe is becoming a regular fixture here on the beach in the mornings. He is just so happy that he moved down here. He's still, he still can't believe he's living here. After watching my videos for a year or so, a year and a half, I and mean, his wife finally made the move to beautiful Naples.
Well, the water's starting to look a little better. It looks a little clearer than it was earlier this morning. I think as the tide comes in and out a few times, it's going to kind of filter out that sediment and when the waves settle down, it'll get nicer. Not much in the way of waves today. Just some little ripples breaking on the sandbar. Here comes another pelican. Is it going to dive into the water or just fly by? Boom. <laughs> the water is pretty shallow here. I think the tide still might be going out here. Let's step out in the water. I love looking back at the beach from out in the water, as most of you know. This is the best way to take in the view of the beach is from out here. You don't get to appreciate it if you're just standing up on the sand looking up and down. Come out here and you get a much better view of the beach, a better appreciation for its, for its beauty. Not seeing the condos and the houses along the beach. That's what makes it so gorgeous. Saw some clouds off in the distance to the southeast. Probably heading this way. That's the only clouds I see in the sky right now. Way, way off in the distance there. Water is starting to look good. Way clearer than it was, you know, an hour ago when I started. A couple hours ago, hour and a half ago, eight o'clock. It's incredibly clear here this morning. I'm going to zoom in and give you a look up the coast. You can see all the way up to Cape Coral from here right now and beyond, way off in the distance. I don't know if that's Punta Gorda. That's Lely. That's Lely. Barefoot Beach, the condos at Lely. And we just kind of pan as gently as I can here up to the north. Follow the condos all the way up along Hickory Boulevard there. And then you're gonna see a gap. See that gap there on the left coming into the center there? That's 
Lover's Key. And now you're seeing Fort Myers Beach, Stero Island. Pretty darn amazing. It doesn't look that far from here. It seems like a long drive when you drive up that road there. You can even see more buildings there, faintly. Amazing, just amazing, gorgeous. Jan, hey sweetie. Nice seeing you on here. I just caught you on here. I don't know if you were with us this morning. I hope you're feeling better. Nice having you on here. It's just not the same without Jan's little comments. <laughs> Jan's witty comments. It is nice. What am I filming? What am I taking pictures of? Oh, the sleet and the snow on the beaches of Naples. It is gorgeous out here. I tell you, the only thing missing on this beach right now is you. <laughs> that is the only thing missing. Let's go check in on the gopher tortoise nest up here, the, their little burrow. See if anybody's peeking their head out. Earlier this, this morning, I was telling everybody that I had heard that somebody was here at the beach with their dog and they were letting their dog play with the gopher tortoise. I can't believe somebody would be that ignorant to do that. I mean, you must have a brain the size of a pea to think that's an okay thing to do. That's why I couldn't be a park ranger. I got no tolerance for stupidity. Let's go check in on the tortoises. See if anybody's out getting some fresh air. That's what they come out to do. They need to get fresh air because the oxygen in those burrows gets stale. Think about it, you know, the, all those little underground tunnels. Huh. Nobody out here. That is very, very weird. Nobody out here. It's beautiful out here. There's the the in out, the entrance, the exit. I don't see anybody out here sunning. Hmm. 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 I really thought we'd see a tortoise here. Don't 
don't see any little tortoise tracks. Nobody's been out and about. Look at that beautiful sky. Man, oh man, oh man, look at that view. This is a fun little view here. A fun little view with the foliage framing the shot. It's beautiful, but not as beautiful as it would be if there were some puffy clouds in that picture. That's all it would need to make it picture perfect. Picture postcard perfect. Boy, it is very quiet here today. Not many people, which is a really good thing. Weekends, it gets pretty darn crowded here. By the way, it's really easy to get here. If you're on I-75, you just get off exit 111, head west. It's a Mockley Road, exit 111, North Naples. Go west to the end of the road and you're at the park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. When you come to the park, behave yourself. Abide by the rules. Pick up your trash. If you see any litter on the beach, pick it up. Be a good beach steward. Don't be a slob. We get a lot of slobs here. Sad. But we got wonderful people like Nana picking up after them. And a lot of other people that do the same. Volunteers and rangers. I don't know how people can just disrespect a place like this, like by leaving trash. Holes. Holes are a big problem on the beach, especially now. We're getting into sea turtle nesting season. If you or your kids dig a big hole, please, please, please fill it in. Don't leave holes on the beach now. Spread that message. Very, very important. These big mama sea turtles coming on the beach don't need any more hindrances. They don't need any more, any obstacles. They got enough problems just surviving on their own without us interfering with them. And then when the babies start hatching, if they fall in one of those holes, that's a death trap. The raccoons will get them, the birds will get them. So fill in your holes on the beach. That's our state tree right there. The sable palm. You see those all over, out in the Everglades, along the beaches. You'll see hammocks of them. The sable palm. There's one without its head. <laughs> the headless sable palm. That right there, that log, that's Roy's old throne. I don't know, three years ago, we got some pictures of him that was upright and it 
was kind of like a chair, and he sat on that like it was his throne. He was sitting up, I think he was sitting up by Barbara Grove on it. And we call him King of the Beach, Roy Hazy. That thing's been washed on the beach, off the beach, up the beach, down the beach, but it's still here. Pretty darn amazing. Jumping show. Oh, was it a couple times? Five stingray. times. Five. Bigger. A stingray or? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know. It really wow. It's one of those rays. Yeah. When catching those is so awesome. I mean, you'll see them out here, but you just got to be looking at the right time. Yeah, no, this one kept on jumping. Yeah, I've seen that in the past. Awesome. It's amazing. Oh, my goodness. Was he heading out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is, when you out here, you see the big manta rays come out, and they're huge. You know, they're eight feet. And... But where's when and where? Yep. <laughs> I've only caught it, seen it one time. Place, yeah, so. I've only caught it off in the distance one time during a video, a live oh, this feed. Was close. Yeah, those are those are fun up there. That is so neat. Five jumps, huh? You guys are lucky. You see all the good things up there. Something new every day. It is every. That's what I tell people. Every day is different. Every day is different here. And I gotta tell you, it is, this water is definitely, definitely clearing up now, definitely. Looks a lot different than it did when I started earlier this morning at 8 a.m. Still not crystal clear, still a bit cloudy, but getting much, much better. You can see the bottom. You can see the reflections on the bottom. The past few days, past week, no. Not yet, not yet. I'm hoping. <laughs> hoping to see a dolphin. That would be awesome. I did see a shadow out here in the water. I'm walking out trying to figure out what it was. I don't know what it was causing the shadow. Just a little dark spot in the water. Weird. It's not the steel manatee. The steel manatee is way up there, past that little white buoy over there. Look at that. Look at this beautiful blue sky. Gorgeous. Beautiful out here. See, this is the best way to see the beach from out here. The best way. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a morning here for the live feed. Remember, if you like what you see, I appreciate tips. <laughs> you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. And I do thank you.
Did you find the can? Somebody, somebody else must have picked it up. Oh. I heard. They said jump five times. That is so neat to see that. You got a real treat there, Cindy. <laughs> you don't see that every day. I think that was special. I had that arranged special for you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be out here tomorrow morning. About the same time, around 8, depending on when we can get through the gate. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Invite them to tag along with us. Remember our mission, our motto here, bringing people together one beach walk at a time. A lot of wonderful people have joined the Southwest Florida Television Beach family. Hey, thanks for watching. Until tomorrow morning, tally ho, tally ho. Stay safe, stay healthy. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.